Hawaii's most accurate weather with Kamaka Peeling. The nights are coming faster. It's getting darker a lot quicker nowadays, moving into the winter season. And another sign that's, that is taking place is our ocean conditions, which are actually high with those red lights. And that's because we have a couple things going on. Small craft advisory with a slight strengthening of our trade winds and a high surf advisory with another out-of-season northwest swell coming through, peaking tonight into tomorrow, triggering the high surf advisory for north and west-facing shores. Now, both of those are at least until uh, tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock. Clock. Now, looking at our satellite, we have a lot of things going on. We have that cold front coming in from the west, really impacting Kauai, Niihau, and Oahu today, and a surface trough or disturbance moving west from the east, really starting to impact Hawaii Island. But we have, with those two, which will be merging together with by tomorrow into the beginning of the week, is going to bring increased chance of rains. But each individual pocket of moisture is already going to be bringing some localized heavy showers. Now, moving forward, we're going to see that uh, continued throughout tonight. So that's going to start to build tomorrow lasting through Tuesday and that's because another upper level disturbance will be building and forming north of the islands and even though that cold front will be moving away the moisture is going to be lingering around at least into the middle of the week now looking at today we have a lot of moisture lingering around the islands on the uh, Kauai was really seeing over uh, two and a half inches of rain really in the Hanalei area and all the other gauges are slowly starting to increase in those numbers but for the other islands we're seeing fairly dry here in uh, Oahu really the higher elevations Maui County, not very much sprinkles at all. And even though Hawaii Island has that disturbance towards the southeast, there's a lot of thunderstorm activity taking place southeast of Hilo, but all of that is moving towards the west, so will eventually be sweeping up on the windward slopes. And in the future, all these green blobs, again, will just be continuing to linger for all the way into Tuesday as that upper level disturbance starts to fizzle away. By the time we get to Wednesday, that's when we're going to start to see drier conditions cont uh, start to come, and that's going to be the second half of the week. But until until then, just expect a lot of moisture, particularly for the windward sides, especially once we start uh, from the Sunday night into Monday as that uh, upper disturbance moves away and more of the trade winds from the east will be impacting. Now, it is still hurricane season, as I said, lasting all the way through the ending of the month. We do have two disturbances in the East Pacific. Fortunately, both look to dissipate within the next three days, so not posing a threat. Checking out our Heinello 18 to 22 up north, 10 to 14 out west. Better conditions for inexperienced beach goers for south and west facing shores. Stormy conditions for the next few days lasting un into the middle of the week. We're still going to be expecting some moisture coming through for the second half, not what to the extent we're seeing in the first half. Breezy conditions will be ramping up by the middle of the week into next weekend where finally things seem to start to dry off. Sam, we'll toss it back to you.